In the past few days, a powerful X1.9 class solar flare erupted from sunspot region AR4299. That's one of the most intense categories of solar flares, capable of releasing massive bursts of radiation. The result? Widespread radio blackouts, especially across parts of Australia, where shortwave communication briefly dropped out. But that's just the beginning. Looming behind this flare is a giant sunspot complex. Regions AR4294 through 4296 now turning to face Earth. It's so massive that scientists are comparing it in scale to the sunspot behind the infamous Carrington event of 1859, the most powerful solar storm ever recorded. 19th century event caused auroras visible in the Caribbean and disrupted telegraph networks globally. Now to be clear, experts say there's no evidence we're heading for another Carrington level disaster, but the potential for trouble is growing. Because of this active region, space weather agencies have raised storm alerts to their highest levels. Their warning of possible disruptions to GPS systems, satellite functions, power grids, and even internet infrastructure if another major flare hits and triggers a geomagnetic storm. There's also a silver lining. Literally, this solar activity increases the chance of auroras, possibly visible much farther south than normal. If you're in a mid-latitude region, you might catch a rare glimpse of the northern lights lighting up your sky, a side effect of Earth's magnetic shield interacting with the solar wind. But let's not forget, this is a reminder of how dependent we are on space-sensitive technology. A strong enough flare or coronal mass ejection could interfere with communication satellites, knock out navigation systems, or even overload electrical infrastructure. What seems like a beautiful light show could have a serious price. As the sun approaches the peak of its 11-year solar cycle, we can expect more flares, more activity, and more risk. The coming weeks could be calm or chaotic. So keep your eyes to the skies, your gear shielded, and your systems backed up. Because when the sun speaks, Earth listens, whether we want to or not. For more breaking space stories, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell.